greeting to everyone. I am Dr. Swati Vijavat, Assistant Professor, Amity University, Uttar Pradesh, India. We'd like to give the presentation on the talent development strategies. Now, before starting with the talent development strategies, the meaning, the importance of the same in the organizational perspective, I would like to go for an opening poll. I want to see how many are you aware about the importance of talent management strategies and how many are you not aware about the importance of talent management strategies? Let's see. Just raise your hands. OK, I can see few hands are being raised. It's good. Okay, that's okay. For people who are not aware of the same, the presentation will help them to understand the basic generalized concept of the talent management strategies, their importance, their meaning, and the different kind of initiatives are being taken by the organization in form of talent management strategies. So now without wasting any time, we will start with our presentation. The overview. It might hard to believe that the usually the best and the preeminent talent for a businesses is right the under the nose of the recruiter. That is just a phone call away. Gone are the days where managing the talent was just considered as a service. Purely restricted as an administrative level task that more often fail to recruit and retain the best talent and abortively devalued the organization from their competitive advantage. If today we look at the contemporary working of the organizations, the workforce management strategies are evolved to talent management strategies. The TMS that we refer to them helps in building a very healthier employer and employee relationship. The following presentation will explore importance of the talent management the various imperative talent development strategies that can help the organization to build an enhanced workforce and further identify the best people in the industry. Objectives. The presentation will cover the following objectives. First, what does talent development means? Why is it so important? important talent development strategies to foster the growth and finally the summary or the conclusion. To begin with, I would like to quote Adam Grant. The mark of a lifelong learner is recognizing that you can learn something from everyone you meet. Knowledge is best sought from experts. Wisdom can come from anywhere. To which the talent management strategies take advantage of the same thing and helps you to communicate, interact with different people, different diversities, different culture, tradition, and on that basis help you to learn a new perspective. The more you grow, the more you have to interact with people. You have to go, you have to think out of the box, and for that you have the best knowledge you have the best practices, but as far as the wisdom is concerned, you have to recognize it and to recognize it. You have to learn it with other people. The more you talk, the more you learn, the more you train yourself, the more you expose yourself with a new technology, new culture, new traditions, the more you are empowered. That's the important point. And to which if you talk about the talent management strategies, they implement the following advantages and objectives to enhance you for further future possibilities. The background, the term talent is often used to refer human resource or people. Mutually, both the organization and the HR professional believes that the talent management leads to better businesses. Results further forming the belief that the personal development and welfare of the employees should be at the forefront as usual as always. Organizations have digged up 
the need to appraise the talent development efforts, making sure that the growth and the welfare of their employees are at the forefront. Without neglecting their personal development on the cost of the business and the profits. So the top priority for an organization is the employee development, enhancement of their interest, their values. Making the job more convenient and more happier for them. The talent management strategies just don't attract good people, but they recruit, they develop and they retain the most talented employees. Taking in account of the changing globalized world, flexible job markets, expanding the skill gaps, upgrading the technology and unstable job conditions. So overall, the basic objective of talent management strategy is to make the employee equipped with the change of the geographical constraints and the technological constraints. Whatever the circumstances may be, the employee should be so much skills, should be so much trained that they adopt with the changing environment, the changing perspective, and that can further mutually help the organization to grow. If the organization work for the welfare of the employee, mutually the organization will enhance also and will gain a competitive advantage in the market. The importance in the fast changing world when the expectations of work is extremely high and the employees are devoting more hours to work, the initiatives of talent development goes very, very deep. In comparison to the usual training processes adopted by the organization in enhan enhan enhancing the skills and aptitude of people. Today, the employees are spreading more time at work and are simultaneously craving for a work life balance. In terms of younger employees, this quench of balancing life and work is more, as is when knowing that the efforts put in by them are really making a difference. Is the particular situation is a win-win solution or not for the employee or for the organization that whatever they are putting their effort, their time, the distance from their family. Is generating them benefits or not. Mentally also and monetarily also. This very moment, the importance of talent development strategies comes into actuality. As such, the various initiatives supports the employee to look at the specific areas of interest and strength to strike a balance and ensuring growth in their personal and professional life. What do you mean by talent development? We have talked so much about the talent development strategies. What are the benefit of the same and why they should be there? In this fast changing world. Important thing is that first we have to see we have to Define what is talent development is and for that, according to capabilities for talent development, shaping the future of the profession, ATD Press 2020, the term refers to the talent development efforts that foster learning, employee engagement, talent management and employee development to derive organizational performance, productivity and results. There's so much to offer once an employee enhances his learning, his engagement towards his work and the organization. Particularly, it will help in developing the performance, the productivity and the results of the organization too. So it's again a win win solution. According to Johns Hopkins University Human Resources, Talent management includes the integrated organizational HR processes that work together to attract, engage, motivate and retain the best employees for a company. Just hiring them, recruiting them is not enough. The HR processes should work mutually to attract, to engage, to develop such interesting processes through which they not only enhances their creativity, their interest area, but simultaneously they work for the development of the company. They should be keep motivated every year, every semester. The heart of the 
talent development is the people, their talent. That's the important aspect. That's the reason it's the talent development strategies. What talent an individual is ha having, you have to identify, the company has to identify, have to harness. The major goals of the talent development is to build the people understanding, familiarity, awareness, skills, expertise, and a positive approach necessary for the growth of the organization in a long run. So awareness, skill development, the expertise, and particularly a motivation and a positive attitude that you are an asset to this organization and whatever talent you are having, we are there for you to harness it, to improve it, to engage you. That makes you more empowered, more happier, and helps you in further development. Next to that is the features, the characteristics of the talent development. First of all, it's tool. Can we say a mechanism to unleash the human capabilities? It's all about human. It's about, all about their talent, their skills. A set of conventional methods for enhancing the capabilities in lieu for advancing better organizational results. The more you are into the work, the more you become monotonous. Working again and again to the same task, to the same level, to the same time makes an individual unproductive. And for that, you have to use conventional methods to help them not to feel monotonous, to feel interesting, to feel attached. And that needs lots and lots of work. A system inclusive of processes such as progressive training, development processes, succession planning, and new learning prospects. If there's no scope to grow, Nobody will do any training. The training should be progressive. It should help an individual to identify the futuristic needs after five years where they see themselves. What is their progression? What is their growth? What is their salary? What is their perks? And what new learning prospects they can have for further enhancement. Aiming at the explicit area of employee strength, harnessing them and moving the employee to the area best suited them according to their interest and capabilities. Sometimes there's a possibility that an individual who is working on a different level have a different choice of interest working on a, another level. And to that, there should be a constant research. There should be a constant feedback or the analysis so that the individual gets an opportunity to move to the level of their interest, further helping them and harnessing them, their skills. Planning resources for team and strategizing in initiatives that could be accessed over time. The resources are very important. If you strategize the initiatives, they are available for the new employees also, for the experienced employee also, and there should be a consistent flow of these initiatives for all the employees. Finally, let the employee to explore and expand in their area best suited them, in turn making them more content, satisfying and productive. That is giving them the freedom, not restricting them by rules and regulations of the conduct. That once you are on a one level, you have to work for it. Until and unless if there is a scope, then you will move. No, they should given the chance to explore, harness, to think, to analyze. And by that only, they can be productive and mutually the organization can. After the features, the talent development strategies need. We have, we have talked so much about talent development. We have talked so much about their importance. But why there is a need to do so? For that, to manage both the present and the future talent, the talent management strategies act as a magic potion in grooming the best talent of the organization. Managing the talent is the prominent objective an organization can have. This forms an important business goal to the organization and the TMS can provide a competitive edge 
to the organization in recruiting and retaking the best performance. So they should keep a balance for the present and the future talents. Develop a reservoir of the same. Start with the recruitment, the intake of the former employees. The ultimate task is to harness the talent. Considering the employees as, as a very precious and important asset to the organization. And without that, the growth of the organization is missed. The TMS is a kind of an alliance between the organizational goals and the employee personal inspiration and interest. If such win-win alliance is not there, the employees are, will be forcefully working in an organization. To make them work and to have a win-win solution, you have to understand their needs. You have to identify their talent, their aspirations. And for that, talent development strategies act as a very important tool. Next to the needs comes these strategies. Now, what are the strategies which are being adopted by the organization? For that, we will start with the first one. Involvement and encouragement by the bosses. That's very important. Research has it all. As people move up the ladder, they usually open the doors to their own advancement and start forgetting about to help others. The company top executives should help and actively encourage their employees to grow consistently. The peer review is very important. The seniors can help the juniors to identify the lacunas, where they can feel motivated, where they can feel they can improve themselves. And for that, they have to leave the ideology of their vested interest and work mutually for motivating their juniors. The clarity of the organization mission, the company's mission and goals should be clearly communicated. It's a roadmap. If the organization don't tell you on which road you have to go ahead, then you will be lost. This is important for the cultural building of the organization. If the roadmap towards rooting the right talent is not appropriate, not strategizing, then the company future will be in a great danger. You hire, just you hire, you take, and then employees leave. The roadmap is not clear. The mission is not clear. You don't have the talent management strategies, how you will enhance, how, how you will let them feel motivated and retained. For that, the mission, the futuristic mission should be very clear. Look inside. Whether small or big, the businesses ventures have to look within for the right talent. There's always a possibility that the skills company need may are already be on their payroll. You never know. You have to search for it. For that, you have to strategize. You have to put up policies. Six month policy, one year policy uh, analysis. The talent development strategies follows a well rounded approach that they not only provide the employees more meaningful work, but also motivate them to attain the talent development programs to enhance their interest and deepens their soul. There are few more designing talent development majors. On the job and off the job trainings are is in the type of trainings that can help the employee to stick with the organization in a long run. Once attended are forgotten very easily. A good training session is the one which is quite memorable. Truly useful and once attended is not promptly forgotten by the employee so easily. An engaging training session includes workable talent development initiative, for example, training needs analysis, micro learning resources, long term skill building, experimental learning, providing opportunities to practice employee feedback for improvement in the future trainings. Identify the coaches, give a man a fish, he will eat it. But teach a man how to catch the fish, he will not only feed himself, but feed his family. So the said statement proves the importance of opportunities and the merits of a good coach. Organization regularly in need of a good and a very vibrant coach. As a part of the TDS, the coaches are being recruited for all over the organization from all the levels. The coaches have all the skills the employees are having and can check with them how much learning they are already equipped with and how much they need to learn. So there is always a scope of learning and the coaches can help them. 
to understand, to find the way out, to learn more. So finally, summary. Talent development is a must for the company's progressive culture. Usually to dictate is very easy. And in terms of a company's existing culture, where it is the regular work habit of neglecting the reservoir of the available talent, the work becomes more monotonous and unproductive. This lotsum working won't be effective in the long run. Today's workforce quenched for productivity, creativity and growth. The organization need to prioritize learning and for this it is essential to be well equipped with talent development strategies to build and enhance the interest area, knowledge building and the attitude of the employees for better productivity and better organizational results. So thank you all. Thank you for listening to the presentation. For any queries, kindly post the questions in the chat box and I will answer them accordingly. Finally, thank you so much to the organizers, 